Olá, sejam todos bem-vindos ao nosso vigésimo encontro da sétima edição do Café Internacional da Universidade Estadual do Maranhão. Na temática dessa sétima edição, é, política linguística para internacionalização. Neste momento, iremos dar início ao nosso workshop especial é, entre a, o curso, o grupo da arquitetura, do, da, do curso de arquitetura e a Universidade de Belgrado. É, sejam todos bem-vindos e recebam a, saudações calorosas aos convidados externos da Universidade de Belgrado, é, pela a Universidade Estadual do Maranhão, e desejo que tenham uma, uma, uma reunião bastante proveitosa. E nós, da Superintendência de Relações Internacionais, estaremos é, presentes durante toda a reunião e ficaremos à disposição para o que for necessário. Com isso, eu gostaria de passar a palavra para a professora a doutora Malúcio Al. Obrigada, Thales. Estamos aqui hoje para falar de um projeto muito interessante, né, que é coordenado pelos professores convidados. Good evening, welcome everyone. First of all, I want to thank Zora and Nada for kindly agreeing to be with you to share with us this amazing, wonderful program, PAPS, Public Art and Public Space. Thank you, Zora. Thank you, Nada. After that, I want to thank the people that working hard made it possible. My students from the program Seat Readings. Larissa. Greetings, my name is Larissa, student of Architecture and Urbanism of UEMA, and I am scholarship holder of Seat Readings Project. Nice to meet you. Daniela. A Daniela. It's not here because of some um, some problems in the internet. We know everything about that. Isabella. Hello, everyone. I'm volunteering the pro project City Readings and student of the architecture and urbanism. Yeah. And uh, Luciano. Hello, my name is Luciano. I'm a student of architecture and urbanism on UM, and I'm a volunteer on T Readings. Ok, eu acabei de apresentar os alunos que trabalharam duro comigo para a gente poder criar esse, essa situação. É um programa que nós criamos na UEMA, e, e a Larissa é bolsista do, do programa de extensão da UEMA que tem por finalidade criar esse espaço de trabalhar textos, escrever, participar de encontros na língua inglesa. E esse, essa atividade que nós estamos fazendo hoje é uma atividade desse programa City Readings. And now, a special thank to my dear colleague, Professor Ingrid Braga, which, once more, is my partner and uh, articulate everything is universal, university international relationship department to make possible and very concrete a partnership agreement with the University of Belgrade. É, tem que falar de Ingrid, que é minha colega da Faculdade de Arquitetura e Urbanismo, e que somos sempre parceiras de, de atividades é, de intercâmbio, e que tornou possível essa, esse momento, eh, insistindo num, num acordo, numa, numa parceria entre a Universidade de Belgrado e a Universidade do Estado do Maranhão. É, finally, I will present Zoran and uh, Nada. And Francisco, vou apresentar Nada e, e Zoran. Eu gostaria de apresentar Nada e Zoran. Ah, ok. She just opened it. Yes. yes. So I'm presenting both of my friends, Professor Zuran Dukanovic. I never say that right. No, From you are University doing it perfectly better than me. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the University of Belgrade. 
and Professor Nadia Beretti, the University of Sassari, Italy. Uh, both uh, Zoram is a PhD, full professor of urban planning, urban design, urban history, and public art at the University of Belgrade. Na faculdade in the Architecture Department of Urbanism, Belgrade, Serbia. É professor da, de, urban, de planejamento urbano, de é, design, desenho urbano, história urbana e arte, né, arte pública na Universidade de Belgrado, na Faculdade de Arquitetura e Urbanismo da, de Belgrado, Sérvia. It's initiator, founder, and leader of the International Interdisciplinary Research Program, Public Arts and Public Space. A visiting professor at Sapienza University of Roma, Italy. Kiyo University of Tokyo, Japan. University of Sassari, Italy. Polytechnic de Bari, Italy. A special critics guest lecturer and mentor of diploma postgraduate study works at several faculties in Serbia, Union, European Union, United States, Australia, Japan, member of several management consulting and advisory bodies of the cities, public and private institutions, and NGOs in Serbia and abroad. Okay, um, it, it, vocês podem ver o professor, ele trabalha em várias universidades e é a consulta, consultor de várias é, corpos de, das cidades, de, de consulta pública, de, faz consultoria né, de planejamento urbano, de desenho urbano, em várias instituições públicas e privadas, e ONGs, né, em, na, tanto na Sérvia como fora de lá. Vocês podem ter acesso à professora, né, Nádia, Beretki também é pesquisadora e a professora assistente da Universidade de Sassari. Nádia, Nádia Beretki é PhD, Research and Teaching Assistant at the University of Sassari. She has been involved in teaching activities since 2011, after her graduation. Her work is to fold, focusing on urban design and cultural landscape. She is fiduciary of the Public Art and Public Space PAPS, University of Belgrade, Serbia, and Faculty of Architecture since 2012. PAP is an international and interdisciplinary program for artistic design of public space. And it's what we are going to see now by Zoran and Nad Nadja. Um, nós vamos agora assistir a... a a fala, a apresentação, a palestra dos dois professores, Zoran e Nadia. E depois a gente, quando vocês quiserem fazer perguntas, vocês podem fazer, a gente vai tentar responder, né? Eles vão passar para eles responderem rapidamente depois da, da, da programação. Bom, é isso. Então, agora a palavra, Zoran e Nadia. Obrigado. Um, <laughs> thank you very much for excellent introdu introduction and uh, thank you for perfect pronunciation of uh, of my name really oh. better, you are doing it better than i'm doing it uh, i really like it how how it uh, looks like in sort of influence of portuguese it's really really beautiful <clears throat> a few days ago i had uh, i had chance to meet one uh, one of my friends uh, who spent the uh, last 20 years in in, in portugal and uh, in south of portugal and uh, she's speaking a uh, serbian language with uh, with uh, um, portugal uh, uh, accent you know in the portugal sort of uh, sound of uh, portuguese language it was a really artistic uh, experience for me i was really enjoying that at first thank you very much uh, uh, for your marlos and uh, for ingrid braga that uh, you invite me to to uh, to speak about our program that we are uh, doing here and around the world, you will see it. Uh, in the last uh, 18 years, uh, this year we celebrate uh, 18 years, we are adult now. After after 18 years, uh, uh, our program, we can say, is still alive, work very good, and we are satisfied about that. 
Um, thank you very much also for Larissa. Uh, Larissa really helped me uh, amazingly. She cared about me every day with uh, the very kind messages to support me and uh, with great patience. Uh, it's not always easy for me. I'm sorry, Larissa, that I am. Sometime I was uh, I was out, but I was uh, out of, uh, of 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 my town. I was in Italy, and uh, it was not easy to managing uh, uh, Wi-Fi uh, meetings and uh, messaging. But uh, finally, uh, thanks to you, uh, we did it uh, uh, successfully. Uh, but uh, also, I'm sorry uh, to all of you for my long, uh, short biography. Uh, uh, I should make it even shorter because it's not necessary to say everything that I sent to you. I didn't, uh, I didn't understand that, that you will read it so long, you know. But uh, but this is something, uh, let's say that. Uh, uh, we are usually uh, do that, especially when we are old, such as I am. You know, there is a lot, lot of things behind of us, and it's necessary to extract uh, only the main things. As I understood, we have about uh, one hour and a half for our speaking, and uh, which means now is about nine o'clock. We will uh, in, in here in Belgrade. Sorry, is about nine o'clock, and uh, for uh, uh, one hour and a half it will be uh, uh, half past ten. But uh, please, uh, you are free to interrupt uh, my speech uh, about uh, four o'clock in the morning, uh, but in Brazil, you know, because uh, when I start to speak, it's not easy to, to stop me. Fortunately, Nadia is, uh, is with me and she is very strict with time as well. And uh, she will control uh, uh, also uh, the speed of my presentation as well. And uh, mm, because uh, the, 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 the last and most important part of our presentation is up to her because she will present uh, actually our results. I will present you, uh, let's say, sort of, this is not methodology, this is our approach. This is starting, uh, let's say, hypothesis, but in a really, really, really uh, uh, wide, uh, wide, uh, wide frame. And after that, uh, we will, we will uh, show you some of results because it's not possible to show it all. Uh, we have a website, uh, www.publicartmidlinepublicspace.org. Um, you can find uh, all our activity, mostly all. This is uh, about 18% of our activities that we did uh, during these 18, uh, 18 years, and we are very proud about that. Thank you a lot uh, 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 to have a chance to speak at your respectable uh, university. I had a chance to work with your uh, with Marlus and uh, Ingrid Braga uh, uh, and your students, excellent students, really. I still remember. Uh, how much I enjoy to to work with them, even that I had been uh, a bit hard with all of them. But I also think that this is a sort of task for professor, not only to nursing the student, but also to give them strict uh, and strong and uh, let's say radical um, approach to change not only their way of thinking, but also way of life, because studying means uh, changing the way of life, uh, because per perspectives are always changing. Um, uh, uh, and for me, it's a really, a really great uh, honor and uh, uh, to speak at your respect, the respectable faculty, especially because this is actually uh, my first uh, uh, lecture and my first presentation in South uh, America, not only in uh, in Brazil. And we are very proud uh, uh, that uh, we are uh, we are speaking uh, at the moment there, even that we are not in present. <coughs> I hope it will be chance. Uh, in any case, we had already some, some let's say, uh, members of our world community uh, who came from Brazil, and we will show you that at the end of, uh, of our presentation about four o'clock in the morning. Um, <coughs> okay, I will now switch. Nadia, would you like uh, something to add uh, at the beginning before we start the presentation? No, I would like only to say the uh, thank to all of the people who invited us, involving Marlos and Andrade, and all the people with whom we had the opportunity to speak in advance. And we're really, really happy to present PAPS as a whole for the first time at your university. So I would uh, leave the word to Professor Rajukanovic, who is the founder and uh, now and then I will interrupt him <laughs> and uh, give you some uh, like um, parallel opinion, which is always in line with uh, everything which he says, because uh, 
we are working uh, very in this interdisciplinary and uh, together so I, I had this opportunity to work with him for the last more than 10 years. So we are sharing all the opinions and we prepared this presentation for you together. And uh, in this sense, I, I would uh, leave the word to him in this moment and uh, I would interrupt him anytime when the moments come. Thank you. Thank you very much. I will now share my screen, but uh, at first I will uh, I will un, uh, un, uh, uh, I will switch off uh, my camera and uh, uh, to not interrupt you with my uh, face. Share the screen, and now I have to find window. It could be that one. Share. Okay. I. Uh, Please confirm me that you see my my uh, 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 the first slide, which is a uh, seventh uh, cafe international. No. Huh? No. Yes. Do you? Yes. Okay. I can start. Yes, please. Okay. Thank you. This is the moment. Excellent, uh, um, excellent chance. Uh, thank you again. And uh, 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 this evening, uh, actually, we are speaking uh, not only about our program, but we are also speaking about the topic, uh, which is uh, public art and public space, which is one of the most important, very important topic, not most, but very important topic, not only uh, topic of the comp contemporary cities, but uh, also through the history of the city is possible to research this uh, this um, uh, excellent relation between uh, public art uh, and the public space uh, in in the cities we will see uh, why we did it like that in the left uh, on the left you can see uh, the logo of uh, our public art and public space program and uh, this is presentation that uh, we have been pre uh, made uh, exclusively for uh, this uh, opportunity and for this for this chance of course, every time when we are uh, uh, dealing, uh, delivering uh, our um, our speaking or our presentations or our workshop uh, somewhere, we are at the beginning start to understand where we are speaking and uh, um, who is uh, the people and what is the city uh, where people sit while we are speaking, which is not easy to to do in the way that uh, I never been there in uh, San Luis and uh, that. Uh, Nadja never been there, even that uh, uh, opposite of me. Nadja has been in the South uh, America pretty lot and traveling a lot, but uh, um, I never been in that part of the world. And uh, but uh, this topic is uh, also ob obviously very presented in uh, your city as well. This is one of the heroic places, as I understand, uh, after our research, uh, the staircases, uh, famous staircases. Uh, which change uh, actually the, the the picture on them, and uh, I really like uh, uh, such uh, approach to exposing art uh, freely uh, to all. Uh, making art uh, accessible to all is one of the let's say most uh, not only beautiful but also most democratic, most most politically correct uh, option. The most beautiful that we have this is the art, beside of our kids, of course, but. Uh, this is uh, the art is always uh, aggregate all our hopes or our, our visions, but also all our fears related to the future and uh, and uh, uh, related to the contemporary moment, the, which we are living uh, uh, the contemporary moment of today. And it's uh, beautiful to realize I especially like this uh, this picture because in the uh, left uh, uh, down corner, uh, there is a beautiful name uh, of uh, your city as well and this aggregation of uh, our program and uh, your city and the beautiful people who is there um, uh, make me really happy that uh, uh, and actually uh, illustrated the best uh, this moment that we are doing now um, um, researching your 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 city and what happened uh, in it uh, uh, not briefly uh, a bit long time um, and not uh, only after uh, uh, Ingrid and Merlus uh, uh, called me, invited me to, to speak, I, I, I did it also before. Uh, um, I find out that uh, 
actually you are excellent uh, 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 city for researching such topic you know so rich and so joy joyful uh, the city with uh, uh, happy people with beautiful people really 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 beautiful people also uh, i met those people in ascoli piceno but uh, they are uh, looking even more beautiful in in their natural environment where they really live and they really care about um, the city that uh, your university is is really uh, an oeuvre, as uh, Lefebvre said, we were speaking a little bit uh, uh, after about that, as a masterpiece. It's obviously masterpiece because it's uh, marked as uh, one of the most, uh, let's say, beautiful and most important uh, part of our planet uh, as a cultural heritage of the world, you know, like a world heritage site. Um, your city deserves it because it's really beautiful and deserve it because of people who build it, who care about it, who live in it, who is ruining it as well, you know, because the city is in the process and always has to have them. When we are speaking about the, uh, the city as the masterpiece, as an oeuvre, we are thinking about the city in totality, not only uh, architectural heritage, uh, not only um, uh, tangible or intangible uh, heritage, but, all, but the city in total. City as a space, as a city, as a climate, as city, as a sun, as a city, as a people, city, as a live city, as a love as well. And for now, for us is really important. The environment also part of that city, the beautiful, extraordinarily amazing environment that we live. This is only one um, example of it. Your craft, your, 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 your craft that you are doing in your city, also very famous, not only uh, related to uh, Azaleo's tail, but uh, also there is different other other products, also agricultural product, not only uh, industrial. That is, uh, um, your part of the world is uh, really famous, related to the River Amazon, which is beside of you, and so on. And the public art, of course, uh, uh, that you nurse, that you have beautiful pieces, which is related to your tradition, to your way of living, way of understanding environment. Also, your your uh, um, let's say you're really rich and deeply, um, uh, 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 let's say the methodology, your methodology, your your beliefs, your religion, which is deeply involved also in your uh, in your in your life. Reading about uh, your poets, your writers, and reading about your uh, your uh, way of thinking, uh, we find out this uh, very deep and very, uh, from the other point of view, also very fragile. Uh, and also very resistant, just, beco just because it's fragile, very resistant um, uh, heritage, uh, cultural heritage uh, that you have and that you care about it and repeat it every year through the festivals, to the dancing, to the music, to the, uh, to, to, to the beautiful stories, uh, you know, for uh, and the people who is caring about it and trying to make something more related to that. This is something, this is by the book, is not public art because by the book, public art is the is the art exposed in the public space, um, which has been actually um, uh, uh, ordered by a, a public institution and financed by public institution and maintained by, by public public institution. But today we have to develop uh, this idea about public art in our inside of our program. We believe that public art is every kind, even 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 kind of public art, even kind of art which is exposed to the to everybody, which is available and we, which is exposed to all, uh, uh, even even guerrilla art as well, not uh, uh, not each, but uh, but also guerrilla art very important for uh, for uh, uh, our city and uh, um, our cities. And uh, as, uh, your city is beautiful example. We had festival of graffiti masters and so on, but also murals which is really, really beautiful that you have. This is not the only one uh, made by Eduardo Cobra, but uh, uh, and research with uh, some students as well, uh, some uh, universities, but uh, excellent uh, example of it. Uh, activism, this is uh, something the, 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 which is, uh, as I understand, very near of your faculty, actually just beside of, uh, of your faculty. It was uh, this year of la or last year, uh, um, um, actually a re recultivated uh, uh, ex-industrial site, which is uh, um, changed in something which is uh, 
public art space, uh, uh, the private space, which was uh, the industrial, uh, uh, the, it was fabric before, before today is something um, even temporary. I, is, if I understand, it's not con constantly there, but even temporary has been changed. Change is something which serve to citizens, serve to public, and obviously has a hope which gathering people, motivate people to come and gathering them to exchange uh, their their hopes, their dreams, you know, and uh, to be together, sharing the art as a uh, as, as a way of uh, communication in, in, in between. As well, uh, which we really, really care is something that uh, nobody's forgotten. Even it seems that favela are sometimes forgotten part of the, our cities. Believe me, my city has favelas as well. The, this, uh, uh, the artists has a, a very good sense for injustice and uh, they are doing their best, you know, to, 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 um, to be everywhere, to do their best wherever it's possible to share the art with, with the other. This is one of the, let's say, most touchable and most important role of art to be everywhere and to touch everybody, to, to, to give to each of us uh, 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 right to give a voice actually and to think uh, and to say what uh, we believe uh, uh, for in the educational matter as well this is a students uh, from our all of, from our, of your universities uh, there who study uh, and work with uh, with uh, with cobra as well uh, related to production of this uh, the realization of this uh, beautiful public art research as well i find uh, an excellent uh, research that one of your bachelor students did as a final thesis as i understood uh, graffiti uh, uh, and uh, its uh, importance uh, for identity of the cities and really really excellent uh, work for the bachelor level even it would be very good for the master level of study i'm i i i, I was really happy to to read it uh, and uh, to see uh, how um, your students are, are uh, uh, well skilled, well trained, and well educated in in this matter. Obviously, there is professors who work with them and uh, who are also very good in in uh, in this topic. Uh, who actually evaluate uh, evaluate this work. And um, at the very end uh, of this first part of my presentation, which I'm trying to uh, contextualize uh, um, our topic and our presentation with the, your city where you are. Uh, studying and where you are uh, living um, uh, i find out one uh, excellent example in uh, in, the, in the website uh, cultura alternativa uh, you can see uh, very down uh, the website of this site uh, which actually exactly show how our desire to live in a livable city uh, can be uh, upgraded in even more important desire to live in lovable city how to share our dreams in the best way to reach a better future hoje nossa ilha do amor nossa ilha magnética nossa são luís do maranhão é a aniversariante do dia a cidade encanta, me deixa inebriado e saudoso, me deixa poético, me deixa alegre. Feliz aniversário, minha e nossa São Luís do Maranhão. Te amo, Cândido. Um, I, uh, uh, every time when I when I read this uh, this part uh, uh, this text, uh, as you can see in the in the in the gray. Uh, tone in the green shade down of uh, uh, your Portuguese uh, text, I, I put uh, my Serbian text, you know, that I can always understand what, uh, what does it mean. This is one of really uh, strong proclamation, how city has have to be, how the city have to be in relation with their citizens. If there is so strong, if we can say Ti amo or um, I love you to our city, that city has a future, that city belongs to us and we are belonging to that place. This is the main part of it. What is better than the art to show this uh, 
expression of it. That's why I like, uh, for example, this uh, picture very much uh, because this artist is playing with this very, very small brush with uh, uh, big staircases, uh, caring about every single particle that be perfect. Why? Because this city where he lives and where he works and he, where, where he dreams deserve it. Here we are, uh, São Luís, um, and uh, here I am, uh, uh, Belgrade, and here is uh, our public art and public space program. At first, I will, I will give you two small videos, or short videos. First one to present my city, the second one uh, to present uh, uh, my faculty from where I came, uh, Faculty of Architecture of University of, of Belgrade in Belgrade, Serbia. Okay, let's see something about the Nadja told me that you don't see video. Uh, Nadja just sent me a message that you don't see a video. I will try to, uh, probably because I gave, uh, I have to go here uh, to, to, to share where I am. Aha, here. Okay, and now I have to share it again. Share stop screen, after that share again, uh, share screen, share screen, window, where it is, I think this one, share, okay, I will start again, I believe now you will, you will see it. <coughs> Nadia, send me a message if, if you see me.
this is a presentation of uh, of uh, of my uh, my uh, of my faculty. The context. Uh, just a moment to stop it. Uh, I have to go go here again to sorry. Uh, and uh, I'm first in this. Uh, this uh, uh -huh. did I stop? No, I did, and now I have to uh, open a new one. It was the presentation of the context in which we are living. So the context in which uh, perhaps was it's dealing with the issues of the urban life. And now it's an over to present the next uh, issue in which we would like to show you mm -hmm. the academic environment in which uh, Pops mm -hmm. is dealing now mm -hmm. and in which we are growing as a program of the Faculty of Architecture at the University of Belgrade. Do you see the video? Yes. This is my faculty. Beogradu, Arhitektonski fakultet predstavlja najznačajniju obrazovnu instituciju arhitektonsko urbanističke struke u Srbiji sa tradicijom koja je duža od 170 godina. Ostvareni rezultati u obrazovnim, stručno-umetničkim, naučnim oblastima na fakultetu ga pozicioniraju visoko u regionalnim razmerama. Karakter nastave na arhitektonskom fakultetu je dvovalenti, to je umetnički fakultet sa jakom politehničkom osnovom. Specifičnost svih studijskih programa vezana je za interdisciplinarnu među departmentsku saradnju, koja pokriva prilično veliki i širok spektar oblasti bavljanja arhitektonske struke. Postoje tri departmana na fakultetu, departman za arhitekturu, departman za urbanizam i departman za arhitektonske tehnologije. Department za arhitekturu je orijentisan najviše razvijeno znanja u okviru razumevanja prostornih funkcionalnih organizacija arhitektonskih objekata kao i njihovih oblikovnih manifestacija u prostoru i različitim okruženjima. Department za urbanizam pruža znanja o odnosu ljudi i građane sredine sa ciljem razumevanja procesa koji vladaju unutar tih međusobnih odnosa. Što se tiče Departmana za arhitektonske tehnologije, on pruža znanja o konstruktivnim principima, metodama i tehnologijama građanja. Ok, we will stop somewhere there uh, and we will jump back uh, it, uh, at our, um, no here, but here. Wow! I find very, sh very strange skills. Stop, uh, stop screen. Ok, we are together again. Share again. It was a show presentation to contextualize in what are the conditions in which we are dealing with a box. Where we start? Actually, finally, we'll see that uh, at the moment uh, we are uh, um, actually planetary project we, because we have our, our sort of members all around the world, also in, in Brazil. At the first... Uh, um, we will show you a short film uh, which uh, followed the, this book that uh, Nadja edited. edited uh, um, it was uh, published this year. Uh, it was the first edition of the book uh, published this year. And as you can see uh, here, our program, Public Art and Public Space, is one of the, um, let's say, one in the family of our our uh, co-parents with whom I, we, we did this book together with the uh, Departamento di Arquitectura, Design e Urbanistica, Università degli Studi di Sassari, um, also Azione Collectiva Dritto alla Città, Public Art and Public Space, Tamalaka, uh, spin-off uh, from, uh, from uh, Sassari. The book uh, um, gathered a very important, uh, let's say, theoretician and practitioner in different kind of field, because the topic, um, Nadja should speak probably about that a little bit uh, later about uh, the human environment and the environment of the human species uh, actually, and this is uh, um, our um, uh, part of uh, our presentation. 
I now, now I again has to stop uh, sharing. Uh, after that, going to find uh, where we are. We are. Uh, let me see. No, 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 no. Um, th this is the last sharing. I'm sorry that uh, I am doing this, but uh, um, I have to find uh, here and uh, after that share again. Uh, share screen. I didn't this expect that it was working that way. way. I'm sorry about. Do. Yeah, we wanted to share uh, a piece of ourselves and how we are integrating in the different environments. And uh, this last one was about how we integrated the program of public art and public space in the, the doctoral program uh, within the uh, one book which we published for the department uh, of uh, architecture, urban, urban planning, and uh, the design at the University of Sassari. So please um, take a look at this last film that we will present to you. Uh, I'm sorry for this jumping in, jumping out, but I didn't expect it would be like that. But uh, in, this is the first time that I'm working in, the, in that uh, online uh, uh, software environment. Uh, our topic was uh, um, public art and public city. is an important matter. The work of art is a passionate dream that comes true. Listen, this beautiful sounds of the city crowd, the beautiful music, sidewalk ballet. And if you listen carefully enough, you will hear clearly Believe it all, as the basis of all of it, a vigorous heartbeat of a passionate artist. The power of the public art depends on the power of that passionate heartbeat and its ability to make other people passionate and powerful. Public city is an ideal, utopian order, a marvelous masterpiece which democracy builds around its fragile substance as a safe home for our collective dream. As a core expression of democracy, the public city offers all citizens a creative way to explore the past, experience present, and design and freely experiment with alternative futures. Promoting art as a form of resistance to injustice and as a tool for changing value, space of seeing, imagining, and producing space, the public city hosts creative dialogue based conflicts. Public city uses art as a tool to foster engagement of people and equal partnership based on mutual respect, tolerance, and the appreciation of diversity. Public city uses art as an instrument to inspire a critical view of the city. Art generates values and inspires people's critical view 
of the established norms, procedures, and practices. Art stimulates creative work and a diversified and creative economy. In order for art to be genuinely public, it has to be embraced and accepted by the public, but also recognized as a shared cultural experience. Public art enables people to claim ownership of urban spaces and to generate higher values of the quality of urban places and of the quality of life in general. Public art embodies the principle of free, equitable and unlimited access to the best that the city can offer. It reveals new models of citizenship by providing equal possibilities for all to partake in social and cultural expressions without any form of exclusion. Public art is art without the frame in the conventional sense. The complex urban context around the artwork becomes its frame. Public art extends attention to what is around it and the viewer is invited to consider all the new surroundings in aesthetic terms. Public art, as a representation of civic ideas, inspires people to express their critical thinking about their way of seeing, way of knowing, and way of being together. Public art is a signifying practice which marks and makes places of communal importance. Public art freely and creatively expresses our voices. Public art is a bright mirror that mirrors our belief, identity and pride. Public art anchors our sense of belonging. Art is unnecessary and useless. It doesn't solve problems. Art has no survival value, yet gives value to survival. Public art provokes and challenges dialogue on assumptions and attitudes about where and how we live and relate to the city around us. Public art questions the space of civic society that is grounded in the existence of a life in common. Public art allows the formation of public opinion by fostering civic experience and the collective dream of tomorrow. After those films, we will continue with uh, our presentation. I, 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 I want to respect uh, the, the, the people who help us in uh, uh, making this presentation just to finish it. This is our website, uh, publicartandpublicspace.org, that you can visit and uh, find uh, many other uh, information about, uh, about our work. And this is the people who help us also to, to do uh, our things uh, that you just saw. Uh, I have to go back again uh, uh, to do what? This, okay. And after that, uh, stop share again, share again, share screen, share screen, window, and here we are where we stop. Uh, mm, this is uh, the book. You can find the book uh, in. Uh, it's you online. can see your window. Sorry, why? I share it properly. Share. Share screen. Share screen. 
window. Okay. Do you see my window now? Nadia? Yes. Oh, thank you very much. Now we can see. You can't see? Yeah, we can. Okay. Thank you. Um, you can find the uh, uh, book is online uh, uh, freely and you can access it freely in, the, in that uh, 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 website down in the issue. Uh, if you type the environment of the human species, uh, it, will be, it will be available for uh, reading in the total. And also there is, uh, beside of our presentation on YouTube, there is all other chapters um, are um, also followed by, uh, by uh, some sort of... Uh, visual presentation that you can find uh, behind of uh, beside of our our uh, our film that you already that you already saw okay <clears throat> let's uh, probably jump about uh, about this very very briefly i will try because we already spent uh, more than half an hour um actually uh, this presentation is speaking about pro of, of our program but also speaking about um this uh, um not always uh, uh, smooth uh, and not, not always easy relation between uh, which established the, in between art and uh, something which is public life, uh, public sphere at all, or public realm as well, but also particularly or more specifically in, uh, in relation in between uh, the public art and the urban design, actually urban spaces, because uh, uh, we are from the architecture faculty of architecture. There is many um, situation in which they are working uh, normally and good, but uh, there is also uh, very much situation in which uh, those uh, relation in between public art and public space are not always uh, well uh, uh, in, in in good relation and not always not always well. But the conflicts which appear from that uh, uh, from those relation are always. Uh, Good and are not dangerous. You know, it's always pushing, uh, pushing uh, the things in forward. Let's speak just briefly and very short about our public art and public space program. What is our public art and public space program? This is an international, it is interdisciplinary, scientific research and educational program of artistic design of public spaces. Founded at the Faculty of Architecture, University of Belgrade in uh, April uh, uh, 2003. Actually, it was initiated in April, but uh, our birthday is 21st of May, where, uh, again, you don't see presentation. Nadia, just uh, send me again. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do because... Uh, there is a delay. There is delay? Yeah. Okay, stop sharing. Did I did I stop sharing? In this moment, yes. Share. Share screen. Share screen. Window. Share. Okay. Now we see what is it. Okay. So it's the beginning of the box, so it's fine. I have been there in the moment when I spoke, you know. Yeah. Can I continue? Is it now okay? Yes. Thank you, Nadia. And of course, uh, public art and public space uh, has been not founded only by the Faculty of Architecture. It was the only initiation, but uh, actually we uh, organize our, our, uh, our program together with uh, the city of New York, Department of Cultural Affairs, uh, percent for our program, University of Art of Belgrade, Faculty of Forestry, Ministry of Culture and Media, City Government of Belgrade, local authorities, and so on, touristic organization of Belgrade, and so on, and many, many good people around us. Why we did it? Why we did it in 2003? Uh, what was our, our objectives? Innovation of routine in design of public spaces, because uh, we have been a little bit stuck in one moment with uh, globalization and uh, with uh, unification of approach to um, designing the, our public spaces without any particularity of the city from the city of the city of the other city 
After that, inter inter interdisciplinary collaboration between different fields of practice without hierarchy. Architecture is interdisciplinary uh, in, in our, uh, our base, but in our program, public art and public space has to be interdisciplinary, ob obviously. Participation of all uh, competent stakeholders, this is one of the, our, let's say, our main uh, main main task my, my main objective to work with people to work with citizens because in our in, in the title of our program public art and public space we have twice time uh, repeated the, the the word public the term public which is very important but don't forget uh, uh, the term public doesn't exist in all languages uh, uh, in the world for example uh, chinese language japanese language fire fire East languages doesn't recognize public as a concept. As a old Latin said, nomen est omen, if it is named, it, ha it, it exists. If it is not named, it uh, doesn't exist. There is some problems in, in uh, spreading such idea uh, all around the world, even that we have also our participants uh, from, uh, from Japan as well. One of the, uh, let's say, most uh, important member from that part of the world is uh, Kengo Kuma, who is uh, awarded by our uh, um, our um, award for contribution of improving of public spaces uh, in, in the world. Education of new generation of F F experts, of course, because we are program of Faculty of Architecture, University of Belgrade, and the, uh, and the education of new generation of experts are always the, let's say, main topic uh, for us. Not only research, but also education as well. How does it work? How work? Uh, how how it works? Our our program. At first, Faculty of Architecture, University of Belgrade, and the Percent for Art Program, Department of Cultural Affairs, City of New York. We let's say make some sort of agreement to do something together, and we decide uh, actually to uh, found the Public Art and Public Space Program at the Faculty of Architecture, and we gave our initiative students teams. But why is red? Because this is the problem. Because it was only architects. It was inside. Interdis interdisciplinarity were not present in that time. But immediately after we founded it, the University of Art of Belgrade came to in, in, in our family, as well landscape design from Faculty of Forestry, University of Belgrade, other domestic and foreign and academic institution. Today we are working in the in a full interdisciplinary relation with we have all let's say sort of agreements uh, of working together and uh, uh, all those all those others um, uh, academic institution gave us their own students and uh, professionalist experts for uh, uh, this topic and actually we gained the task to have interdisciplinary not only students but also professional teams after that independent uh, expert and artist uh, came to our family non-academic institution and authorities and at, uh, uh, also finally local communities because everything that we are doing we are trying to do for them we will see after that how it uh, how it works uh, today. Let's uh, uh, say very few things about uh, some of starting hypotheses. The first one is public art is an important activity in, in place making practice and give many many benefits for urban quality uh, in general. It's not uh, accidentally chosen this uh, Zocchi's uh, 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 painting of uh, uh, Piazza Signoria in uh, in uh, in uh, Florence. Because this is probably the most uh, uh, prestigious place we, we are speaking about uh, uh, public art. Not only because uh, Michelangelo's David is uh, that figure that you can see here, not only because the other famous Renaissance and the Baroquian artist has been exposed their work uh, in this marvelous place, but also because it's showing the life in the city, which is again related to the other label of arts. For example, in the central position of this uh, painting, you can find a, a big group, the biggest group of the people who is uh, uh, aggregate about uh, uh, around uh, one very small uh, uh, puppet theater, which is uh, on the vehicle here in the temporary, of course. Uh, they will be very short here because you know that in, in, the, in that time where Zoki make uh, this picture, was not so, let's say, prominent to be artist. The artist was uh, the lower um, um, social level uh, in the in their communities, and very often cities didn't allow the artist to spend the night in the city. They just came during the day to give some uh, 
some some invent and after that they have to leave the city and uh, and sleep actually um, after all uh, you cannot see only texts okay let's see now how it works now Nadia Nadia show me that there is no picture there is only text but we have no time to to jumping around that Nadia just tell me speak with me give me information what happened do you see now my text and uh, my presentation okay. yes we see the presentation but we don't see the image you don't see Roland Bart now yeah the image of sorry no we see the text of the parks and what is it we cannot see the presentation ah. if you go one slide above maybe we can see how it works now do you see picture yeah we we can see the pictures of Lauren uh, of uh, the Ron Bart and Italo Calvino, but we don't see the previous one about which you were speaking. It's impossible because I'm I'm looking in Zocchi's painting on Florence. Yeah, so there, there is a delay. I mean, now, no. This is a software problem. This is uh, something uh, related to software. This is not related to to the presentation. Presentation is going well, but uh, okay. Now we saw. Now we see it. I mean, at least I I can see it. Okay, but but what you see now? Uh, now I I can see Piazza di Lanzi and the Florence. Now. Still Florence. No. Still Florence. Okay, we have to go far. I don't know how to solve this problem, you know, because uh, I can stop. Uh, uh, I can stop sharing uh, the screen. Now again. I see the local Roland Ma Yes, but you are seeing uh, totally different the time seeing here. I'm seeing. Um, I'm sorry, things, but. Here. I'm telling you the truth. Uh, okay, thank you very much. And uh, okay, interrupt me again, but uh, I will uh, uh, stop sharing now, and I will try to share it again. But we will do it every two minutes. You know, this is the problem. There is no presentation in that way, because the, I, I the people will be. I didn't to interrupt you. I was just telling you. No, no. You thank you. Thing. Thank you very much that you interrupt me. But uh, but obviously the the um, share screen. Screen sharing was best on a good computer. I have a good Your computer. Your story wasn't coherent with I have very, speeches. very new uh, computer, which which was bought one month ago. And very, very strong and very fast. Now what happened? Now we can see uh, Roland Bart and Italo Calvino. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, next uh, starting hypothesis is architecture is always dream and function expression of utopia and instrument of a convenience, as uh, Roland Barthes said in his uh, famous book uh, La Tour I fell in uh, from 1979. Um, I really uh, uh, suggest you to to read this book if you didn't before, because it's speaking a lot about the city. And also another guy. Uh, Italo Calvino, whom you uh, already see, but uh, I just uh, I just type it in my in my computer. For example, cities like the dreams are made of our desires and our fears. So Italo Calvino said this his amazing book, uh, you know, amazing book, uh, Le Città Invisibile from 1972. Uh, you should uh, 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 read it uh, as well. Those two those two um, let's say hy hypotheses. Uh, we are counting it as a hypothesis, even though this is simple quotation from their books, as a, let's say, direction how to work. This is one of our basic, let's say, met methodological approach. Of course, if you are, spe if you are uh, uh, when you are uh, uh, learning or teaching the architecture, you always have to um, uh, um, use the method of learning by doing. is is impossible. 
What does it mean? Uh, uh, try to switch a screen in a presentation mode, Nadja. Can you explain? In the me? sense that we can see your PowerPoint as you conceive it, not the full screen. Ah, okay. Let me let me try to do. We let, see ah, your words. Not okay, the... okay, okay, okay. Let me let me try to do to do it in this way. Fine. I will do it like this. Uh, maybe it will work uh, now. I will not interrupt my presentation, but I will do it in this way. Ah, no, no, no. I have to stop sharing. Okay, stop sharing. After that, again, uh, share, share screen, share screen, window, uh, this one, share. What you see now? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, now it's fine. Now it's fine. Yeah. Full yeah, yeah. Go with this. Yeah. Okay, this is Italo Colino. Okay. Perfect. Fine. Finally, we have to we have to uh, use learning by doing method, the uh, searching, uh, uh, the teaching, and the learning uh, about architecture, because it's not possible um, uh, to. Uh, to learn architecture and uh, to, to, to know architecture without testing it, without trying. This is like uh, driving the car. It's not possible to, to drive the car after somebody verbally explained to you how to drive it. You have to try. You have to test. You have to try. You have to fail. You have to try. You have to fail. Finally, you will fail better, you know, but you, you will learn, gain something from that. But those two guys uh, doesn't speak about learning. They're speaking about dreaming there. Architecture is always dream and function. Who is dreaming? The dream of whom? Of the citizens. We saw just before in the intro of our presentation the dreams of the people from, uh, from your city. Uh, cities like the dreams are made of desires and fears. Of whom? Of the citizens of the city. Of course, they are desiring. They are fearing about uh, the things. If it is like this, this it, if our cities, if our if architecture is related to dream, which is always, there is no architecture without our dreams. There is no our cities without dreams. Architecture and uh, and our cities are built by bricks, compressed, made of compression of our dreams. That we have to find another methodology. Learning by doing is good, but not enough. We have to do something more. And this is dreaming by doing. This is the things that we are trying to do with our students. This methodology is not easy, but we will uh, speak uh, a little bit later about uh, about it. Also, Martin, Martin, uh, Martin Heidegger, um, um, uh, let's say, um, uh, critic, uh, uh, critically view of Martin Heidegger, Martin Heidegger related to the Marxist who said that uh, the work creates a main, he said that Work probably creates a being, but art creates a man. And from the other side, also um, the things that we deeply believe also related to that is uh, the Yon Huizinga and his uh, excellent book, Homo Ludens from uh, 1938, which really marked my life, for example, is a uh, um, relation in between Homo Faber and Homo Ludens. What is the Homo Faber? What is the Homo Ludens? Homo Faber is... Uh, a man who is staying always in the center of, of field of knowledge. Field of knowledge is always limited. There is always boundaries, very strong boundaries in, in, in between field of knowledge and the uh, uh, environment of the things that we don't know, that we, that we don't, uh, 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 with, uh, what, we, what we didn't know already. Uh, Homo Faber is always staying in the center of the of the field of knowledge. He always can guarantee the quantity, the quality, the color, the duration, and everything about the project product he's doing. Who, on the other side, but there is no progress. There is always repeating the same things. Who is the Homo Ludens? Who is the Homo Ludens? Is the guy who is always staying on the edge of the of the knowledge, always staying on the borders of the knowledge, on the fences which. Uh, actually fans the knowledge again and acknowledgement and he's shaking these fences shaking as a hand, like, like a crazy expanding 
the 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 the, the field of our knowledge. For example, um, there is a, a Max Weber who speaks about insanity, which invent. You know, you have to be uh, somebody who is playing. This is also playing the things is always uh, uh, the same important as only uh, as as something much important than working. The next topic that uh, uh, is uh, very important for, for us is right to the CTU. I believe that you already know about Henri Lefebvre and his famous book, La Droite de la Ville, from 1968, that every citizen has a right to participate in decision-making process, which governs and shapes the production of urban spaces. Citizens' collaboration is also related to that uh, uh, because if the city is the product of collaboration of the citizens, it makes sustainable urban places, public participation and collaboratory is necessary. And again, city as a, we start our presentation presenting our your city as a as a city, as an urban, as a masterpiece. The city is in his totality, you know, is a, a, a work of uh, is a masterpiece, is work of art and urban space as a creative product and context for everyday life routines of the of its inhabitants those everyday life that we are living in our cities is actually has artistic label uh, not only for the people who is looking for but more for us who is living it living in the city and be awake every morning is the success and is a also case of art if we're speaking about public participation in the field of art there is actually two theorists and also practitioners are, um, um, and I'm always suggesting those two books uh, for uh, for my students, which are speaking about different labels of the of the of the public uh, uh, involvement in the creative process, the and the and the existence of, of public art, because sometimes art uh, participatory art doesn't exist without participation of uh, of the audience. Nicolas Berriot is the first one, uh, and his uh, excellent book, Relation and Aesthetic, and the other one is Clary Bishop and, and her uh, also excellent book, Artificial Health. I'm really suggesting you to, to research it. Also, public art uh, works are a way of celebrating hopes, beliefs, values, and memories in the way to making a place of common importance. It helps to create a sense of identity, uniqueness, and civic pride in the city. Civic pride of the city. This is one of the most important things. If we are proud our, for our city, our city are so successful. If we are loving our city, our city are more successful, as we learn from uh, uh, Candido, uh, who write a beautiful, uh, um, a beautiful text uh, uh, on the beginning of our presentation. But as time is passing, our hopes, our beliefs, the, the system of values that we have inside of our city are changing. The, the best illustration of it, uh, uh, I find out in this uh, monument of the Soviet army has been built by, by Bul Bulgarian and, uh, people uh, as a sort of thanksgiving uh, to the uh, Soviet Red Army who um, liberated them from the uh, Nazi occupation during Second World War. This is the upper. This is part of the monument in the in the upper 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 slide. In the lower uh, position, you see an uh, an amazing intervention of one guerrilla artist. We still don't know who is who is the guy. Very clever and always doing it during the night. But as you can see perfectly, you know that uh, uh, Bulgarian uh, Bulgari was in the Eastern Bloc uh, during the Cold War uh, after. Um, ruining of Eastern Bloc, uh, it become a part of European Union, and uh, this is a sort of changing of beliefs, hopes, and also um, uh, the way of understanding the futures of the people who lives there. And as you can see, those uh, um, um, uh, soldiers, uh, bronze soldiers of Red Army, has been converted in American superheroes with uh, super powers. How else? Um, because this is uh, the only thing that can uh, help us. The medium in, we, in, in which we work is, uh, I will be very, very brief uh, through this, people, which means community, the space, which means the city, the site, you know, and art as uh, in general, uh, but particularly, specifically public art. In between uh, people and space, uh, 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 we are uh, studying and researching uh, the public spaces uh, in, the, in between uh, space and art. We are uh, 
speaking about the site specific art in between uh, 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 people and the art we are we are researching and also speaking about community specific art and in the center of all is something that we are most desirable for all is contextual specific art which which is generated uh, uh, in dealing with all of uh, all of contextual impacts it's possible to have as much it's good. My students, we just finished, Nadja and me, we just finished before this presentation, I work with our, our students in our program, Public Art and Public Space, they are just starting in their work related to contextual specific art, and we are very satisfied about the results that we gain. Um, society, space and art, the public art has a special role in, in increasing intensity of emotional response and per perception of particular socio-special socio, socio context in which it has been placed, thus helping its uh, acception, uh, acceptation, preservation, and celebration, very important thing, celebration of the everyday people life and related to them. During the last century, public has, has been diversified in wide range of art. This is not only the visual art as, we, as, it, as it was before. As we saw in your city, you have events, as a, you have festivals. This is also sort of uh, art, but the most important uh, from this topic, let's say, specialize it in the way that uh, art exposes it outdoor as a public space or in space, um, site specific public art, community based on public art, and place making uh, artistic practice. The method. This is one of the, let's say, important how we are dreaming together, how we are working our method, dreaming by doing. The first of all, je participe, which means I'm participating, dreaming by doing, dreaming but doing, which means you have to do something. You know, this is doing, the dreaming by doing, dreaming but doing, you know. This is very important. Je participe. Tu participe, which means you participating. Uh, share your dream, motivate the others to dream. Il participe, respect the otherness, learn from the other. Nous participons, we participating, dreaming together, making dream, dream, try to do, uh, uh, share in the in the way to make, to motivate the other to, to, to dream and to dream together with you, they own dreams as well. Who participate, decimate the dream and make it visible, very important. And finally, il profite. Because somebody has to profit. If we are speaking about the participation, it's not possible to speak about participation with, uh, without um, uh, obvious benefits that the participant will gain from the, through the process of participation, which means be generous, improve. You know, work to the other people. This is uh, actually and also be realistic, do impossible. This is uh, the, uh, actually poster um, that we are uh, uh, borrowed uh, from the um, uh, France, uh, fr French students from uh, 1968, uh, 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 very famous uh, um, um, year for the student demonstration all around the world. And be realistic, do impossible is also was quotation of, of Serbian students from the same year. And finally, monitor effects. We are architects usually finish our our job and go just kiss and go but it's not uh, uh, for for us in the public art and public space program is not enough the most important part of our work is coming after uh, the realization because we have to monitor effects we have to conclude something of, uh, about the monitoring effects of it because the reaction of the public is very important for all of us and dream again this is very important do it again Fail again, do it again, fail again, do it better. I will jump over it, but just I want to show how actually we apply it in our in our uh, in our uh, structure of our of our program. We start like that, but during the time we totally change our 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 uh, let's say organization. On the top of all our activities are local communities. Today we have more. Uh, invitation and more, uh, let's say, asking from the local communities to work with them and to work with them, then we are doing uh, uh, the same. Of course, the last two years, because of Corona, it was a little bit in stand up in in uh, in uh, uh, out of, uh, of of standing. But this is uh, uh, we are hoping that this pandemics will finish and that we will we'll start riding on the storm. Um, uh, uh, also, how to apply it from the from the from the point of view uh, uh, the environment, the context, and us as a, as an artist, as a, as architects, as a designers. 
we are always in the in the field of architecture, in the field of, field of, uh, of uh, urbanism. We are always working in the life space. This is only not only space as a non-life sub subject, but uh, the, our cities, our architect architecture is not only fulfilled by life, but this is life as well. This is representation of uh, of life. Uh, if you are uh, if if uh, if if you know the the the, the Lefebvrean uh, theory of production of space, you should know that uh, the, the 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 spaces that we are producing, the, the space is uh, our city is a social product product. The space is a social product, and that space has to be dreamed actually, has to be perceived, has to be built, has to be understand, and uh, has to be um, delivered actually. Um, uh, uh, to the but how to do it of course we are inside of it and we are always analyzing because we are scientifics and we are systematize our knowledge about the life and about the space but who is doing that who is finally make decision but the designer of course it means me the architect and finally we will do the project we will conclude something and we will make the project and what we are doing to that this is synthesis but synthesis not only of two elements that we had before we we become an integral part of it and we become our dreams become the, the the part of collective dream in which we already done that's why we have to be careful that's why we have to work with citizens and that's why we have to be honest if we will be successful in that our citizens will be proud of, of uh, uh, on our works and they will and uh, your works will improve the quality of their life and this is the moment when I am giving the stage to Nadia. What's done? Nadia, you have to just uh, uh, give me a hint uh, when you want to change the slide at first. Yes, please. Yeah. Now I will uh, shortly now present to you uh, some of the projects we were done uh, within the program of the public art of public space. Because if you open our site, you will see the completely different division of the subjects and the matters with which we are dealing. And uh, it's uh, something that uh, we are usually organizing by the projects, annual projects, uh, some books, some presentations, uh, uh, some of the projects uh, which we are supporting and so on. But in this presentation, we wanted to separate uh, these projects uh, by the scales on which we are we interacting so and this slide you can see some of the smallest projects in which we invested our efforts to contribute to some really little little uh, interventions which we are calling the xxs or xs interventions of the public art and public space programs and uh, by this, we, we meant uh, some uh, almost invisible interventions with which we can uh, change or influence at least uh, somehow uh, some aspects of the projects with which we are dealing. At the left side of the slide, you can see some of the interventions we were proposing within one very big project which we started in 2011, we, in which we were working with um, some uh, local municipalities from one wine region in Serbia. And we were uh, speaking about some uh, package of the gadgets which could contribute to the placement and at the same time uh, some kind of uh, promotion of a wine because we were working in one wine region in Serbia which is very influential in the sense that it has historical values and uh, it's a uh, a uh, region that is uh, supposed to enter the list of uh, European sites of uh, of, uh, of UNESCO by the, its importance, and uh, this site is uh, one of our our like core uh, interest because we were working with the people from that region <coughs> from 2011 
to uh, upgrade uh, this uh, this region and we're working on uh, these uh, small kinds of uh, interventions which we call the wine gadgets and uh, those are really really small projects by which we are meant to support in uh, in uh, some level uh, our interventions on uh, restarting the production of wine in that regions and uh, you can see that this range of wine gadgets goes widely from uh, I know some uh, injections of wines to do some uh, uh, really, really small design projects uh, like um, wine in the sense of uh, some um, hygienic uh, 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 substance and, uh, and so on. So that we uh, produce with our students the spectrum of the products which can support the, the wine production. And uh, it's in, in this scale, which is, which is very small. So for this sense, we kind it, uh, we, we called it uh, wine gadgets. Yeah, but this is the way, This is, it was the way how to actually, those small projects appear at the beside of the big project the students do. Actually, students recognize there in, in this uh, 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 working with the wine produ producers, small wine wine producers, um, that they are uh, doing with wine different things, you know, that uh, you can use wine for the other things. For example, you know, here you can find a very small gadget uh, that you have wine, wine for uh, um, uh, if you spread uh, uh, red wine in your uh, pantalons, for example, and in your robes, uh, you use wine, white wine to neutralize it, to not be dirty, you know, or you can use a uh, red wine uh, with a piece of bread uh, to uh, pick up a bruisers uh, from, uh, from your body if you hit uh, somewhere. Also, they're using uh, a little bit wine to, uh, as uh, something which is trap for the for the for the um, flies you know or uh, something which is uh, uh, actually they're using white wine for washing the the the, the windows you know and the, and different kind of things and the, that one that small one a little bit nasty uh, but it was very satiric uh, to the situation that you had in that time in Serbia it was a strong restriction of electric power and uh, which depends of the ministry actually of the minister who of energetics uh, who has been that time um, um, the guy who was very powerful and uh, related to these wishes he turned on or turned off uh, the the electric power you know in our city selling uh, uh, while selling the electric power because we are a, a sufficient producer of uh, of electric power they are selling it uh, uh, abroad you know and uh, that's why it was sort of satiric actually students make it uh, in the in the switch uh, on switch off at uh, at our faculty, let's go for Nadia uh, uh, far, because we have a uh, twenty minute more, you know, and uh, something like that. Yeah, follow me. Uh, next level of uh, our intervention involves the projects which we call that can enter uh, the category of S and I am. Uh, public art and public space projects and uh, these projects involve a really a wide range of projects which we were then up developing with our students it goes from let's say uh, public uh, interventions that uh, catch up our sites like some of those which uh, were along the side of uh, we were always working in a context uh, on these pictures that we were presenting. We were always working in a context of uh, wine regions in Serbia. And uh, some of those are developed along the corridor of Danube, which is the cycling way, uh, a European cycling way. So uh, some of them were using to catch up our uh, intention of uh, while we are cycling uh, along the road and we can see some uh, public art intervention 
and uh, stop by to see what's happening within the city while the others as you can see at the pictures uh, left or, or the right side uh, that are uh, some kind of uh, like one hand uh, promotion of wine as those uh, pneumatic uh, structures which are serving for the promotion of wine or at the other which are structures for the preservation of uh, structures which are usually used uh, to uh, um, like traditional production of wine like the tap that you are putting uh, at the top of the building and uh, you are trying to preserve the structure in which you are producing the wine. So this kind of intervention, it's like less than urban scale and uh, more like catching your eyes and uh, interventions which are inviting you to participate in uh, some kinds of uh, urban interventions. So this uh, S&M level of the projects uh, that we realized within the pubs are like three types that you, you can see here. And then uh, we, are, uh, we were working in some scale which is between something that we call the in between M and L level or temporary event design. However, this level it goes uh, really from the XXS scale towards the XXL scale because uh, uh, it's uh, organizing events and in the sense we had like we, we can say this is the starting uh, level of the pops because we organized these projects uh, like in the beginning of the program from 2003 and 2004 when we, in, when we uh, established the Belgrade Boat Carnival and uh, the passage from the city center towards the river to uh, involve the people to enjoy once again the ex-industrial uh, sites of the central part of the Belgrade, uh, which was uh, forgotten. And we organized this kind of event that uh, it, uh, it, it was not in the, because Carnival, it was not uh, some of traditions in Belgrade like it is in your countries. And we invented something to involve the rivers as a public spaces and give them some values to participate in the urban life of the city. And uh, with that project, we wanted to show that even though uh, some projects which are which have like temporary dimension can change the urban life even forever because nowadays we can see long-term effects of those projects which change the river fronts, even though uh, we are not present there anymore, uh, those projects are continuing their lives and uh, they're continuing the transformation of the urban river front in Belgrade in some positive way in the sense that there are some urban activities that are contributing to the liveliness of uh, those urban areas and uh, it everything started 2003 now we are speaking about almost 10 years distance from uh, those projects and these are really huge topics about which uh, we can uh, discuss very much because we had two projects which were initial projects of the pubs and both of them has different, like say, developments. 
and uh, contributions to the, the development of the urban river fronts in, uh, in Belgrade and some complicated situations with which uh, they were dealing in the meantime. But however, uh, this project uh, continued to life in uh, in the context of Belgrade, in the sense that uh, they were recognized by the touristic touristic organization of the Belgrade, who took upon the management of the events and uh, continued to realize these events in their own way. Uh, we can discuss uh, how they organizing if they're really recognizing the riverfront how was the riverfront really re-engaged in the urban life but uh, however uh, those were the like uh, uh, sparkling moments by which we we tried to uh, give life at the urban uh, river fronts of the Belgrade and uh, we believe that we su su succeed in that because uh, uh, those were some of the projects uh, which were like the most participated in the, in the history of the pub's life which uh, as you said in the beginning, marks like uh, 11 years of, uh, of its life. And uh, we are really proud to, to start with that kind of project that uh, it's not only that we learn how to implement the project, but also how to give a life to something that someone else would continue to take care about and maintain the spaces. So this is like a huge, huge topic. And the uh, next level uh, of the project, um, projects we are, we are, we are dealing at, it's uh, between M and L level, we call it like that, it's the level uh, in between the urban planning and the urban design. The, for, for this level, uh, we choose to present to you some uh, project, uh, one project, which uh, was designed uh, exactly for the uh, urban river front of the Belgrade in between the Savage Bridge and um, yeah, this area was the, um, let's say, in the ignorance of the management of the municipality of Stalingrad for which we were developing uh, one project to improve the urban river front in Belgrade, let's say, with the uh, uh, different scale of uh, possibilities of uh, of the investment. However, this project nowadays uh, finished uh, with the, the, some different history. But however, uh, we we tried in this project to implement uh, different levels of investment together with the uh, different different levels of uh, engagement of the use of uh, public soils and uh, and the organization of the uh, relationship between the something that is waterfront and something that is urban design at the um, the terra at the urban something. urban background this uh, project yeah, has been, uh, yeah. this project has been ordered by the municipality of Savski Venets and it was one of the hollow effect of previous project of Nadja show um Belgrade, Bel uh, Belgrade boat, boat carnival actually that carnival has been the first carnival has been organized in Serbia because we are orthodox country and we have no carnivals as a sort of uh, let's say um uh, events in uh, in in our part the, it, the, that project was one of the hollow effect of it one of uh, of the effect uh, which uh, has been born actually uh, related to to um, uh, Belgrade Boat Carnival. Belgrade Boat Carnival has a big, big impact in the in the, that part of the city, and uh, actually uh, renovated uh, from the beginning. Activation uh, activated the people uh, building up their their awareness about uh, 
uh, importance and quality of uh, life beside of the water and spending time beside of the water. Um, this uh, that that project that we that we uh, it has been ordered by uh, municipality of Savski Venac partly has been realized, and uh, it, it was uh, the um, actually uh, it was accepted as the official strategy of development of uh, of uh, river banks uh, uh, of the right uh, river bank of the River Sava, which belongs to um, uh, municipality of Savski Venac. I'm sorry, Nadia, that I interrupt you just to. Uh, push something in forward. Okay, yeah, would you like to continue? Zora, Zora, Nadia, can you yeah. can you hear me? Okay, yes. yeah. My, my dears, um, I'm very uh, sorry, but I I have to remind you that our time is about to finish because we have a very important step to take, which is the the agreement that we have to try to start doing by today. And uh, I'm, I'm overwhelmed with the presentation, but I'm very worried about the timing. I also no, no, there is seven wait. minutes more. We are finishing now. Uh, there oh. is a for for five minutes, seven minutes. We we, we will finish. Okay. Nadia, would you like me to 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 finish the presentation, or you? No, will? I can I can jump it. Okay, okay, just just briefly, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you, yeah. my dears. No, I, I'm really sorry we are crossing the time, but I, I will finish it in like two minutes. Uh, this is uh, almost the last, uh, last step because we are speaking about Excel and XSL level of the our project because we are not uh, working only of small urban interventions, but also about the regional urban planning and uh, strategic planning uh, about the cultural landscapes. And this is one example from uh, from Slovenia in which we were working uh, with a, a mining site, which is uh, like the topic of the cultural landscape and the, the relationship of the cultural landscapes and uh, its environment in the sense that uh, we were working with uh, low density urban populations and how to revive uh, those uh, settlements and then uh, we will have we have uh, another type of activities which are like uh, production of uh, some books which can be or cannot be connected with some uh, international, uh, uh, let's say, uh, symposiums, conventions, and, uh, and and so on, because we were producing also scientific papers, but on the other side, we had uh, activities which are uh, purely research activities and they with the uh, with the research and we were producing uh, them all around the world and here you can see uh, the results of some, uh, uh, let's say, publications which were produced. Uh, the first one is uh, from the uh, one of the publications which is the result of a uh, three-year symposium which was held in uh, Tokyo about measuring the measurable. And the second one is uh, about uh, the relationships of the cultural landscape in Slovenia. And the third one is about uh, something that is like uh, more implementation, uh, not only feel the research and uh, not only uh, related to the research activities, but uh, also uh, about the implementation of all our scales of projects uh, within, uh, with, uh, within something that is like uh, the uh, uh, like uh, tweening of the cities between uh, different countries. <laughs> And uh, then we had, uh, let's say, the, the last scale of our project is global. I would like to, but I wouldn't present you <laughs> this project uh, that is uh, a global project uh, in which we were participating uh, uh, in the creation of a new urban agenda. Uh, that was uh, uh, signed in uh, Quito in uh, 2016 uh, 
uh, in which we were part in which uh, construction we were participating were actively by uh, promoting uh, the public art as a something that we need for the city of tomorrow. So it was uh, like let's say more than one year's project uh, in which we invested uh, very much and uh, we we tried to import the art and uh, significance and importance of art in our daily lives in the new urban agenda and i i believe you know what i'm speaking about because this is the document uh, according to which we are acting uh, even nowadays and we will in next 20 years so uh, we were anger to import the art in, in this document and we were recognized as a relevant participant in this process and we we were not only one of the participants in the construction of the document of the city we need and organization of the urban campus but also we were recognized uh, together with the uh, campus of uh, Mindham as one of the most significant in this cycle and uh, we were chosen to to like participate in the construction of the image of the document the city we need which was uh, directly uh, implemented uh, in Quito in 2016 by United Nations and uh, in, in the construction uh, of the document. And uh, this is uh, just some showcast of uh, some of our box that we produced in last years uh, within uh, the pubs. And uh, as Duke said, uh, at, at the beginning, one of our the most important uh, moments in our work is that if uh, there is no fun, there is no sense. So anything that we are producing, it's dedicated to uh, just have fun in the process. And uh, we're pretty sure that uh, with our actions and uh, the, the supporters and the people who are uh, participating uh, together with us, uh, we are sure that uh, we can, uh, if we are doing things together, we can uh, produce great things. These pictures that you can see now are the results of uh, some improvements, let's say, and uh, the um, halo effect that we had uh, at our webpage site so from the moment we we constructed our site in 2005 uh, till the till the nowadays and the numbers of the participants that uh, are growing um, in the in the in the process and some of the institutions that are supporting us and believing us in the in the process of creation and uh, at the end uh, we, we we choose to show you some um, keywords about challenges and hopes and uh, the things we learned uh, in the meantime and uh, in the process of uh, learning about what it is uh, artistic design of the public space i would like to read you the the, the one sentence which is uh, important uh, for us and that we learned it a few years ago uh in the in in the camp at the campus uh which i was uh, speaking about it that the city uh, which we need tomorrow must be co-produced by the artist to challenge the status quo, allowing each person 
to express their creative voice, build communities based on the tolerance, empathy, recognition of difference as differences as richness, and uh, to um, allow each person to express their creative voice and where the collective decision making and creative own uh, consciousness about the structures and systems of the city to collectively envision new ethics and new futures. So that is the city we believe that we need for tomorrow. That's it. Thank you very much. We are stopping the share, but I already did it. Did I stop the sharing? Yes, you did. Okay. Thank you very much for your attention. It was uh, exactly one hour and a half. I am always amazed with this presentation. You know that when I saw the first time in Italy, I was just amazed as I am now, even more now, actually. So we we thank you very much once more. And uh, I would like to, I, I think my students have something to say to you also. And then we are going to, to call Professor Talis and uh, finish and final sign our agreement. So, Larissa. No, Professor Talis came. Lucy? I, 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 I just called my Larissa. I didn't see Professor Talis is there. No. I don't know. Hello, Professor Zara and Professor Nadia. First of all, um, congratulations for your wonderful presentation. And I have just one question. Um, in your presentation, I, I noticed your appreciation for how the people of San Luis use art uh, as part of our culture, such as São João and uh, the paintings, the paintings on the stairs. But I want to know, in your opinion, uh, when it comes to the impact of art and the interaction of people with this art, is there a difference between what you saw in São Luís and what you see in Belgrade? And do you think that these art movements of some ways would have a positive impact on the public spaces in your city. Nadia, would you or me? Well, how you want? Uh, you can start. Okay. Um, very briefly, uh, to try to, to answer. Thank you. Thank you very much, Larissa, for your kind question. Um, uh, if there is no questions, there is no sense. Uh, 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 you you were one one of those who listened what we are uh, what we were speaking. Um, yes, uh, um, uh, let's say in different kind of cultures is different kind of uh, um, uh, relation to to art. Uh, from the other point of view, the art is uh, usually, especially if we are speaking about the visual arts, are usually very stative, you know, and they are uh, when you put it once in the place, it. Uh, take a long time uh, uh, expressing the idea that artists would like to share with the others. From the other point of view, the art, uh, especially public art, is uh, very often used by the, um, uh, by the authorities as a promotion of the, let's say, sort of political uh, um, uh, ideas, or uh, especially um, um, it's visible if there are populistic uh, uh, in populistic relation, such it is, for example, last years in, in Serbia. Usually, we have uh, ex public art, there is no public art politics. Uh, everything depends on a few people who are governing uh, everything, but also uh, this field. But the public art from the other side is uh, uh, especially 
uninformal public art, which which is actually guerrilla art, uh, graffiti, and the others. If it is art, they are they they are very very um, uh, vivid uh, in relation in relation to that. This is especially visible in Latin America. You have absolutely amazing public artists in Latin America uh, who is doing very very good things. Uh, uh, worldwide known uh, uh, examples of uh, amazing uh, um, good uh, works, uh, uh, especially, for example, in favelas, or especially if they are uh, related to the social problems or uh, some, let's say, um, different kind of politics. I'm not always speaking about uh, political matter, but different kind of, uh, of mainstream in politics. It's always a sort of, uh, um, let's say, uh, there is very strong critique inside of it and it's easy to share it with the other people if you have good artistic uh, uh, good artists and, and good masterpieces that are producing public space they can really improve public life especially from the point from the point of view of identity for example um, we test our citizens in our city what is uh, uh, let's say the uh, identification uh, uh, term uh, or or or, or um, phenomenon that they that they identify identify himself as a citizen of the city of Belgrade with a particular face which is Belgrade as well. It's interesting that eighty percent of the people find yeah, that there is one monument. And, you know, they call it the, the the victor, the the winner that we are having in our fortress, very exposed, uh, in very. Uh, uh, but the history of this monument is also crazy. The, the, the position of the monument has been, uh, uh, the original position should be in the center of the city, but because uh, in 30s, 1930s, but the monument in that time uh, was uh, not acceptable for the ladies, uh, pure ladies of the, of the uh, wives of the uh, people who governing the city because it's a naked uh, guy. You know, and uh, uh, made by one of the most uh, uh, interesting and most prominent uh, Yugoslavian uh, artists, and that's why they are removing it in the place that nobody is. This is uh, at, at uh, they remove it at the edge of the of the Belgrade, actually peninsula. This is sort of peninsula, you know, and uh, where nobody was there. But during the time, that position has been really exposed because uh, uh, during the time. Uh, um, this place has been converted from something which was military base in something which is public park. And now this place is very exposed and this uh, monument is very popular among the uh, citizens of the city of Belgrade. And they recognize this monument, this particular monument, as a, as a monument which expresses identity of the city most. Such as you can find in Florence, this is the David Michelangelo David. In Brussels, you will find, uh, for example, Mannequin Peace, uh, who is uh, as well such a thing. Or Paris uh, has the uh, Eiffel Tower, which is uh, nothing else that uh, actually installation. It was temporary, planned to be temporary installation to be um, uh, destroyed after the expo uh, uh, for which a purpose has been built. But this is one of the, let's say, mark of modern industrial civilization uh, of the of, of planetary civilization, not only the Paris, but it's though such a such a uh, uh, let's say uh, public art uh, um, events or public art structures are uh, uh, really uh, related to it. Or, for example, in your country, carnival is not only let's say something uh, uh, which is uh, uh, um, let's say this is not only dance, this is not only music. This is deeply enjoying in life, you know, and your country is recognized by something which is also sort of uh, public art because uh, carnivals reach uh, uh, the level of public art as well, especially Brazilian carnivals. Yeah, yeah, I know. And, and, and now I, I would like to, I'd like to call Professor Talis to say something about our grieving. And um, afterwards, uh, I think we can just maintain our our meeting to to discuss the details. Professor mm -hmm. Talis, please something. So we can hear you. Microphone. We can hear you. 
Okay, I'm okay now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you very much, Professor Zora, Professor Nadia, Professor Marluci, Professor Ingrid, everyone that is in the in that room. Um, thanks a lot for your presentation, for sharing all the a lot of information related to architecture. Please, my my my. My talk here is now is just to, to tell you all that the International Office for State University of Maranhão, Universidade Estadual do Maranhão, it, you'll be pleased to work with you all to have some document, the International Memorandum of Understanding between you all in the way you, you all would you like to have it. If you be just a general protocol, or a specific protocol. Professor Ingrid, Professor Marluce, they, they both know very well the steps that we need to have one international memorandum of understanding uh, to be signed by our president. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's it. I am very happy to have you all uh, sharing this kind of all this information in all international conference that that is just ending right now this is the <laughs> yeah is is this time is is the the 20th encounter that you have in your international conference or three very intensive days so working that so and uh, Again, we are happy to have you all here now. And please let, let, you, let us know if in the near future you guys are going to need some special workshop or something else that uh, you guys can need your, our work with that, OK? Perfect. Thomas. So with Perfect. that, uh, Thank please, you. Professor Marlos, I pass the word to you again. I thank, you. thank you very much, Professor Thales, and uh, this is a good opportunity because uh, uh, from the beginning of, of October this year, uh, uh, the new rector of uh, our University of Belgrade is a very close friend of mine and ex-dean of the Faculty of Architecture. This is first time in the history of the University of Belgrade that one architect is the rector, and we are pr very proud uh, related to that. And uh, this is also very important for the for the signification of the agreement between our two universities. It would be, I am personally yeah. very interested in, because I think that there is many things to share. I I already, yeah. I had an excellent chance to work uh, with Marlos, with Ingrid, but mm -hmm. also with your students. And I was really impressed uh, with the skills and knowledge uh, and the, and also the, the, let's say the power and the, and the energy that your students are, uh, are, uh, are showing in their work. Uh, and, and I think that, uh, even that we are from the other side of the planet, um, uh, that uh, we can find uh, some opportunity uh, uh, to work to, uh, together, at least in the field of research, but it would be also good to have some uh, of exchanging uh, of students, of course, and if we find some funds for, for also of exchanging of uh, professors, because uh, everything that I saw, uh, I would really like to have uh, uh, your students and your professors here to sharing uh, uh, our knowledge because uh, you know today we are living uh, in the, the planet belongs to all of us and uh, even that we That's live sure. very far we are sharing the same density the, 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 also density but also the, uh, the also the, oh, the same faith you know and the, and the same hope uh, not only because of climate change which is global but also because we are wearing the same we are thinking uh, pretty uh, in the same direction. Thank you very much for this uh, for this uh, initiative, and uh, I will do my best uh, to push it uh, uh, immediately, uh, directly to the rector table. You know, uh, as soon as it possible. Okay. Th thanks a lot for. Thank you. Thank you. I'm really okay. honored. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, first of all, I would love to thank you both for this wonderful class. We had really a class 
and was a, an opportunity for the students and for all the people that had the chance to see you and listen to you. Um, every time I see you, Zoran, for the first time I see Nadia, I'm again overwhelmed by, by you. <laughs> This is also vice versa. I'm always overwhelmed with you. You know that, you know. You know. Um, I, you are I, all, you know, everybody who came from this part of the world, I don't know what you are eating, but you are so beautiful, you know, all of you, you know. You are so beautiful people, you know. It has to be something with, related to food, you know. I, I can't understand anything else. <laughs> I'll see a recipe for you. I, I'll see a, a special diet. <laughs> No, but, uh, I just I just came uh, I just came from Italy. I am full yeah. of pasta pizza, pasta pizza, pasta pizza. I no. know, I know, I know. <laughs> we had a very excellent time together doing this eating pizza and pasta and uh, and wine. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So thank you, thank you again. I'll do my my from now on. I'll do with uh, Professor Talis this part of the agreement, which I love to do. You know this. I've been trying to 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 consolidate this uh this agreement I and mean, we've been talking for such a long time and now i think this is the the opportunity to do it and from now on i'll be in touch with you professor talis and all the the staff that work with him so we can uh, make this work do we we are going to do it, it was a pleasure now, Professor Marluci, thank yeah, you yeah. very much. What it really was a pleasure for me. Thank you. Yes, thank you once again, and thank you, Professor Talis. Thank you, Professor Ingrid, my students, Professor Nadia, Professor Zoran. So now it's finished our transmission. So I think we can talk another time. Just prepare the other workshop with more action dreaming but doing yeah. like you you say that's that's a very good model for us and um okay that's that's it you are the best of, of, in it you know yeah, I, learned, I, yeah, I, learned, I learned a lot from hispano writers you know you are the best in dreaming by doing you know I, dreaming by doing okay absolutely. you are the so best I, li I like the motto you know that i like it very much it's a very good motto okay thank you once more and good evening thank you very much. You can't see you can't, can't, i can't wait to see you again Yes, yes, we are going yes. To, to share another moment. Okay, thank oh, you. Bye. Very good. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much. Bye. 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 Bye